Hi everybody, welcome to Handmade Studio. I'm Cheryl Han Woodlock. Today I'm going to show you guys how to paint this funky owl. At the moment he's all white and he needs a little bit of colour. Stay tuned. What you will need today is an underglaze. I am using a Clayworks underglaze. It is a dark brown. So that is it there. I've put it in a bigger container so I don't make a really big mess. I've also watered it down slightly so it's not as thick as it would normally be. I don't need it really thick. I've also got a large paintbrush. I don't have a fine paintbrush, so a large paintbrush is going to do the job. I also have a sponge and a container of water. We're ready to go. See you soon. We have everything we need, so we're ready to paint our owl. I've got my paint here. And what I'm going to do is just to brush it all over. So nice and all over into the cracks. I'm not worried about how delicate or gentle I have to be. I'm just getting it into all my cracks and crevices. I am painting all over, all over. It also doesn't matter if I get it on the bottom. This is underglaze. It has no glaze or no glass in it. So it is just pure color. Still painting everything. All the front stuff, I think, yes. I'm going to do the back. So just keep on, keep dipping your paintbrush in, brushing it all over. And I'm just doing the inside of the eyebrows. I'm going to be a little bit more careful with this one. Just brush that in. I could use a finer brush if I wanted, but this one, I'm just being very, very gentle. So that will do the job nicely. Just going around the edge. I done. Not quite. I've got dirty fingers, so I'm just going to wash my fingers. I'm going to wash my paintbrush. I'll be back. This is almost dry. He has a lighter color, so it's not as dark as when I first put it on. But from a distance, you can't tell what he looks like. What I'm doing is a bit like magic. I'm going to rub it back with a sponge and my water. So I'm going to put my sponge in the water, squeeze out most of the water. Let's give it a really good squeeze. Brilliant. Now I'm just going to gently see how the decoration starts coming through. And I'm going to just gently squeeze the water out again. Clean my sponge. And it's a light rub because we don't want to rub all the paint off, we want to leave some of the paint in the cracks. They often do this. There we go. Now he's got a wing with a lot of decoration. A lot of people do this with their timbers. So it's a bit like staining timbers. If you've stained timber furniture before, this is about the same thing. If you haven't stained timber furniture before, don't worry, it's practice. And it's a gentle, just a gentle wipe. There we go, he's starting to stand out, isn't he?
what you do need to do is keep looking at him. Is he looking okay? Can I see all my decoration? I've lost a little bit over on that side. I can repaint it. Paint. Pop in a little bit more paint there. Wait for it to dry. If I want to speed that up, I could use a hairdryer or a heat gun. I think I'm pretty happy with that now. The beak stands up, the eyes stand up with the pattern around them. The brow looks pretty good. His toes are there, although he's missing some toes on the other side. That's okay. The log that he's sitting on looks pretty cool. His wings are working. I think he's finished. And that's how easy it is. I'm Cheryl Ham Woodlock from Handmade Studio. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching Handmade Studio. If you liked what we did today, could you please hit the like button, ring that bell and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye from Cheryl Ham Woodlock and Alfred from Handmade Studio. Bye. <laughs>